Thanks for checking out GWF. Hit the subscribe button and enable notifications by clicking the bell icon so you don't miss any future GWF content. The Snakes match is a women's wrestling revolution match. Angesetzt auf einen Fall! Action from the GWF women's division on the way. And two young ladies who are determined to get in title contention. Auf dem Weg zum Ring mit seinem Gewicht von 66 Kilogramm aus Dublin in Irland, Valkyrie! Lady Valkyrie, in her case, trying to get back into title contention after losing her last opportunity at the women's title at Revolution 10 to the Amazon, Aisha Raymond, one of the most dominant champions we've ever seen. Valkyrie looking for a second chance at the title. Aus Dublin, Irland, Valkyrie! Still in her early 20s from Dublin, Ireland. A product of the Fight Factory. Und ihre Gegnerin! Her opponent, though, has been on a roll all around the world in recent months. Auf dem Weg zum Ring mit einem Gewicht von 55 Kilogramm aus San Bernadetto del Tronto, Italien, Laura Di Matteo! Fine young athlete out of Italy, Laura Di Matteo. We saw her just a month ago at Blockbuster where she defeated Vesna via submission. So she has been beating some of the most impressive names in women's wrestling. Oh, San Bernadetto del Toronto Italian, Laura Di Matteo! And by the way, this isn't the first time that we have seen Di Matteo and Valkyrie in the ring together. At Revolution 9, they were both part of a three-way match. Vesna was also a part of that until she was removed forcefully by Jazzy Gabbert. So it essentially became a singles match between Di Matteo and Valkyrie on that night. And Valkyrie was successful. So Di Matteo with it all to prove here. Like I said at the beginning, this one not officially a number one contenders match, but you've got to believe that whoever wins this match between Valkyrie and Dimitea will have a very compelling case indeed to get a shot at Aisha Raymond sometime in the near future. Early cover attempt by Valkyrie had Dimitea all tied up for a two count. They will lock up again. Side headlock from Valkyrie trying to wear down Di Matteo. Cut off that oxygen flow to the brain if possible. Leapfrog from Di Matteo. Valkyrie will send her to the ropes. Tries for that high roundhouse kick. There's an arm drag instead from Di Matteo and a second one. Misses with the drop kick though, Valkyrie trying to drop an elbow. Both of these women so quick. Very difficult to lay a hand on either of them. Valkyrie, middle turn, buckle, looked over her shoulder. Maybe that hesitation gave Di Matteo the chance she needed as this time she nails the drop kick. Di Matteo measuring Valkyrie and Laura Di Matteo over the ropes between the top and middle rope takes out Valkyrie. Di Matteo looking very, very impressive here at Mystery Mayhem. Di Matteo will roll Valkyrie back in. 
doesn't want to end this via count out. Instead, she wants a pinfall. Valkyrie gets that right shoulder off the canvas at two. Of course, in the, that last match we saw, Di Matteo participate in a month ago against Vesna. It was not a pinfall, but a submission that got it done for Di Matteo with a Veni Vidi Vici. That grounded octopus hold. Here comes Valkyrie off the top missile drop kick. Almost takes Di Matteo out of her boots. Goes to the cupboard as Valkyrie and gets two. Ireland versus Italy here, and it's a young Irish woman, Valkyrie, who is in control at the moment, charging in with the point of the elbow into the temple of Di Matteo. Di Matteo looking a little bit groggy, I'm not sure if she has any idea where she is. Valkyrie, you can see, growing in confidence. Maybe taking a little bit too long, though, to jaw off to the crowd. I think Valkyrie taking exception to the fact that a lot of our fans here are Di Matteo fans. Di Matteo will launch, goes to the sunset flip, gets the shoulders of Valkyrie down for two, and only for two as Valkyrie rolls out. And now look, Di Matteo grabbing her and trying to apply the submission. Valkyrie knew what was coming and scrambled her way to the bottom rope. Valkyrie again for a pinning predicament, this time with the bridge. And Di Matteo kicked out, but only narrowly. It's a leg sweep from Di Matteo, who'll go to the ropes, goes for the kick. A kip up from Valkyrie. Fast-paced action here, the Inseguri hits its target for Di Matteo. She'll go for the cover, hooks the leg and gets two and a half. Di Matteo with those vicious forearms to the side of the face of Valkyrie. Valkyrie fighting back with kicks to the kidney. Valkyrie will go to the ropes, Di Matteo follows her. Di Matteo with the clothesline, a second one, takes Valkyrie down. Di Matteo charging in, no one home. But quickly moves into a pinning predicament. Valkyrie doesn't allow her shoulders to stay down, but she might not have any choice in it because it looks like she's unconscious until that left shoulder just, just came off the canvas in time. Crowd here very much enjoying the action here in this highly competitive women's division as the fireman's carry dropping the back of the head of Di Matteo across the back of her knee goes for a cover. Two count and the shoulder comes up. A pretty quick count from the ref. Di Matteo was still able to recognize the cadence of that count and kick out in time. But now what? Valkyrie apparently believes she has the chance to end this. Second row, Moonsault, no one there. Di Matteo catches her. There's a Russian leg sweep. And Di Matteo looking for it. There it is. The Veni Vidi Vici. And yes, she has to tap. Tap out, tap out. And Di Matteo victorious. And here's the Sieger win through Aufgabe Submission. Aus Santo del Toronto, Italian, Laura Di Matteo! Laura Di Matteo keeps racking up the wins here in GWF. And you've got to think that puts her firmly on the radar of women's champion Aisha Raymond. Die Siegerin aus Italien, Laura Di Matteo!